Amphibious vehicles are able to seamlessly transition between land and water. They're generally used in the military as landing vehicles, and they look downright awesome. Let's take a look at the top 15 awesome amphibious vehicles. Number 15. Gibbs Quad Ski Designed by New Zealand-based Gibbs Sports, the Quad Ski is the amphibious vehicle that's on the wish list of every extreme sports enthusiast. When on land, it's a quad bike with a four-cylinder, 16-valve, 1300cc engine that gives a top speed of 45 miles per hour and has a custom-built suspension system that lets you tackle virtually any terrain. But it's when it's on the water that the quad ski truly shows you what it's made of. The four wheels raise up into the main chassis and it turns into a jet ski. The conversion is so efficient that on water, the quad ski has the same 45 miles per hour top speed that it does on land, thanks to the jet drive that was developed in-house. Constructed with lightweight composite materials, the quad ski's center of gravity is low, which along with its wide track ensures that it's extremely stable on land and water and has surprisingly effective handling on both surfaces too. If using it like this isn't enough, you can also buy adapters that allows it to run on snow at similar speeds. And according to the company, they're investing huge sums into research and development to find further applications for the vehicle as well. Number 14, Project Sea Lion. In just the same way that car manufacturers are constantly striving to build the fastest machine on Earth, amphibious vehicle designers are doing the same thing. In 2012, inventor M. Witt revealed details of Project Sea Lion and had even already built a prototype that was put on sale for $259,000. But what made this supercar-like vehicle so impressive in the water? It was made from TIG-welded aluminum and CNC-milled parts and was fitted with a 174-horsepower Mazda 13B rotary engine, something that could, in theory, allow it to reach speeds of up to 125 miles per hour on land and 60 miles per hour on the water. Even by the creator's own admission, however, this was far from the vehicle's full potential, and the speed was only being limited by the engine. His recommendation was that the new owner should replace the engine with a custom-built Renesis RX-8 engine, which if done correctly would generate between 3 and 600 horsepower, and would enable Project Sea Line to reach a top speed of 180 miles per hour on land and 90 miles per hour on the water, which would easily break the records for the top speed of an amphibious vehicle. Number 13. AAV-7A1 Assault Amphibious Vehicle First designed and produced in 1972, the AAV-7A1 Assault Amphibious Vehicle is arguably the most effective amphibious landing vehicle to ever enter service, and it's been an important tool for the U.S. Marine Corps ever since. At 26 feet long, almost 11 feet wide, and 10 and a half feet tall, this beastly vehicle weighs a whopping 29.1 tons and is equipped with either an MK-19 40mm automatic grenade launcher or 12.7mm M85 heavy machine gun, as well as an M2HB 50 caliber machine gun. Its powerful 400 horsepower engine means it can reach speeds of up to 20 miles an hour off-road, 45 miles an hour on a tarmac road, and 8.2 miles per hour on water, and has a total range of 300 miles, including 20 miles across water. This makes it highly effective at transporting troops from a ship directly to where they're needed on land, and can carry up to 24 people at a time. Affectionately known by Marines as Amtrax, which is an abbreviation of the vehicle's original name, the Amphibious Tractor, the AAV-7A1 is in the process of being replaced by a newer design. But with 1,311 of them in the possession of the U.S. Marine Corps alone, they'll be around for a long time to come. Number 12. Rinspeed Scuba Rinspeed is a Swiss car manufacturer that's known for creating some rather radical designs. But in 2008, they displayed a concept amphibious car that took the idea to a whole new level, because theirs could not only travel over the surface of the water, but could fully submerge and act like a submarine as well. They began with a Lotus Elise and completely stripped it back to its aluminum body. Then they installed six waterproof lithium-ion batteries similar to those used in sea scooters, and an electric motor all within the engine bay. This meant that the Scuba would be a zero-emissions car, running solely on electricity. And when it was in the water, the power would be diverted to two propellers, two water jets, and a pump that removes water from the cabin. Overall, these adaptations add around 132 pounds in weight over a standard Lotus Elise, but it was still able to reach a top speed of 75 miles per hour on land. The propellers mean that it can travel across the water surface at a reasonable pace, but the real fun is going underwater. To do this, you have to open all of the windows to let water into the cabin and expel the air. And then the vehicle will begin to submerge, Passengers are giving breathing apparatuses connected to scuba tanks and use the jets to propel the vehicle beneath the surface. 
said to be the closest most of us will ever get to the sensation of driving a flying car or a spaceship, it's probably the most fun amphibious vehicle ever designed. Number 11. Water Car Panther While most amphibious vehicles have been novelties or designed as proofs of concept, a company called Water Car has founded in 1999 with the express intent to bring them to the masses. They have since gone out of business, but some of the designs they came up with were incredible, particularly their flagship product, the Panther. Inspired by the aesthetics of a Jeep, the Panther had a rear-mounted 3.7-liter V6 engine, which drives the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox. When on the water, the power of the engine is pushed through a Panther jet engine that's in the middle of the rear bumper, and this gives the vehicle a theoretical top speed of 80 miles per hour on land and 45 miles per hour at sea. To ensure the comfort of those on board, the Panther came equipped with a custom-designed hydraulic suspension that allows easy adjustment of the ride height and a number of optional customizations that could be added to further enhance the ride. With a starting price of $158,000, however, the company is thought to have only sold a hundred of the vehicles, so the chances of seeing one or getting one for yourself are very remote. Number 10. Gibbs Aquada In the design of an amphibious vehicle, manufacturers often start with either the form of a car that they convert to also work as a boat or vice versa, but with the Aquada, Gibbs went back to the drawing board and designed a vehicle that would perform well at both tasks, a process that required the submission of more than 60 patents for technical innovations. Powered by a 2.5-liter Rover V6 engine, the result was something that could reach a top speed of 99 miles per hour on land and 31 miles per hour on the water. The company produced a number of units in 2003 and 2004, which became popular as toys for wealthy customers. It was with a Gibbs Aquada that Richard Branson set the record for the fastest crossing of the English Channel in an amphibious vehicle in 2004, and was able to complete the journey in just over one hour and 40 minutes, which knocked more than four hours off the previous record that had been set more than 34 years previously. Number 9. MSV Explorer If you've ever dreamt of having your own submarine that you could simply drive down a beach into the water, then the MSV Explorer Amphibious Semi-Submersible is for you. Instead of needing a crane or a tender vessel to load it into the water, it has heavy-duty rubber tracks that are driven by 48-volt intercooler electric motors and can handle gradients of up to 30 degrees, just like those you'd face on a boat ramp, a shoreline, or by driving off a trailer. When in the water, the vehicle is powered by two 25-volt lithium-ion battery packs, which provide up to 110 hours of operation on a single charge. As the name would suggest, it doesn't fully submerge and has a two-person cockpit that remains above the waterline. It gives 180 degrees of viewing for two passengers, along with a second viewing dome beneath the waves that's made up of one and a half inch thick acrylic and has space for another two people. To move around, it has a series of thrusters that give it a top speed of six knots, and it's extremely agile in both land and water, being capable of making 360 degree turns on the spot. The only catch with an awesome machine like this is the price, and it doesn't come cheap. A base model will set you back at least $300,000, and that's before considering how you'll transport it between the locations you want to explore. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Terra Wind Motorhome most amphibious vehicles are adapted cars that allow you to cross rivers or drive out into the ocean to explore before returning home afterward. But what if you wanted something that could traverse land and water while you're on your vacation? In 2009, Cool Amphibious Manufacturers International from Ridgeland, South Carolina, came up with a perfect solution, the Terra Wind Motorhome, that not only has a top speed on the freeway of 80 miles per hour, but can also move across a lake at seven knots. Yes, this RV floats. On the face of it, it's just like any other. It comes with a comfortable interior, a modern kitchen that even has a trash compactor, full-size fridge, and a washer-dryer. But with a teak interior, military-grade aluminum hull, and a fiberglass shell, the 32,000-pound vehicle definitely feels seaworthy, too. When it's in the water, flotation aids inflate to help it stay on the surface, and the power from the engine is channeled through two 19-inch bronze propellers to provide its thrust. It's specifically designed for calm, fresh water, so you won't be able to go into the ocean with this. But if you really want to explore the wilderness, there's nothing better, so long as you can afford the $850,000 price tag. Number 7. The Shaman Built by the Russian manufacturer Avtoros, the $150,000 Shaman is described as an all-terrain vehicle, and it's designed to cope with everything the harsh Russian countryside can throw at it. 
With an Iveco F1C 3.0 TD engine, it's able to reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour on the road, which is impressive considering the 20-foot-long vehicle weighs 4.8 tons. The driver sits in a captain's chair driving position, and there's room on board for eight passengers. As well as being able to drive on and off-road, extra maneuverability is given by its ability to drive in crab mode, where the wheels move to a position so it drives sideways. Rivers and shallow regions of water are no problem for it either, but if you truly want to explore the outdoors, the Shaman can be fitted with a screw propeller that truly turns it into an amphibious vehicle. This allows it to power through the water at 4.3 miles per hour, and even though its frame is built to be watertight, it also comes with a set of pumps that can remove more than 50 gallons of water from the interior every minute to ensure the innards don't get wet. Number 6. Doberton Hydro Car After a 10-year design process and investment of more than a million dollars, inventor Rick Doberton revealed his hydro car in 2010, and it's undoubtedly the coolest amphibious vehicle to ever be created. Looking like a cross between a DeLorean and an airboat, it can turn from a car into a watercraft in just a matter of seconds. After entering the water, its fenders are lowered by almost 8 inches to become full-length pontoons, and then it will fully float. The 762-horsepower Bill Mitchell racing engine switches from rotating the front wheels of the car to instead power the six-blade stainless steel propeller, and the boat is then ready to speed off. It stays true to its 80s vibes with the design of the interior too, which contains 45 control switches, 16 LED monitoring systems, 25 VDO gauges, and three hydraulic levers, all of which are used to control and oversee the vehicle's engine output, axles, stabilizing wings, and various other devices that are required to make it work effectively. The hydro car truly is a one-of-a-kind vehicle, but with an asking price in excess of a million dollars last time it was put up for sale, it's no surprise that there's limited interest from buyers. Number 5. The Bicycle. The New Zealand company Gibbs has become renowned for its amphibious vehicles in recent years, and one of the more affordable and exhilarating designs that they've come up with is the Bicycle, which is essentially a cross between a motorbike and a jet ski. One of the most impressive things about it is how quickly it can change from one to another, and it's as easy as pushing one button. Riders can drive the bike into the water, press the button, and the jet propulsion will be engaged in less than five seconds. Furthermore, the Bicycle has some serious power behind it for its size, which means that it's fast and nimble across land and water. It has a 55-horsepower twin-cylinder petrol engine, but because it only weighs a total of 500 pounds, this is more than enough to reach a top speed of 80 miles per hour on the roads and 37 miles per hour on flat water. The company has thought of everything you need to use the Bicycle in a practical way, even to the extent that it has lights needed to legally navigate the road and marine environments alongside other vehicles. It's great fun, easily adaptable, and much cheaper than larger alternatives, which is why the Bicycle is one of the most popular amphibious vehicles available right now. Number 4. Ivaco Super AV While the AAV7A1 assault amphibious vehicle may have proved itself to be reliable enough to be the model used by the U.S. Marines over the past few decades, it's now proving to be out of date. After a series of proposed replacements, those in charge have decided on what the next generation amphibious vehicles will be, the Ivaco Super AV. The plan is for the first ones to be delivered by the end of 2020, so they can undergo tests, and if everything goes well, they'll be ready for deployment in 2023, and will begin to gradually replace the AAV. But what makes the Ivaco Super AV fit for modern military needs? With a weight of between 15 and 24 tons depending on its setup, the eight-wheel drive vehicle has an Ivaco Cursor 13.6-liter turbocharged multi-fuel diesel engine that enables it to reach speeds of up to 65 miles per hour on land and 6.2 miles per hour on water. It has a range of 500 miles on land and 40 miles on water, and it's able to cope with stormy seas without any impact on performance. They can be launched from ships, but also from aircraft such as C-130 Hercules. And Ivaco claims that the Super AV has the best protection of any vehicle like it. This is provided by the monocoque steel shell that's incredibly hard and able to absorb the impact of small arms fire, mines, and IEDs. Extra kits can be added to provide fire suppression systems and nuclear, biological, and chemical attack protection to ensure that the 13 people on board are kept safe. A two-man remote turret can be installed on the Super AV to offer offensive capabilities, depending on the mission requirements. And alternative configurations can be set up to give the vehicle a specialism, such as becoming an armored personnel carrier, an anti-tank vehicle, a command vehicle, an ambulance, and many others. With these advanced capabilities, the Super AV looks set to keep the U.S. Marines ahead of the rest for many years to come. Number 3. Amphicar 
You might think that amphibious cars are a relatively recent innovation thanks to technological advancements, but surprisingly one of the first and certainly the most successful commercial one to ever be put into production was first sold in 1961. Manufactured by the Quant Group, the Amphicar hardly held up against competing cars or boats, but the fact that it offered two-in-one meant that customers were willing to sacrifice on performance. It was once said to be the fastest boat on land and the speediest car in the water because of its modest power, but this didn't stop it from becoming one of the most famous amphibious vehicles ever. The designers chose an 1147cc standard SC engine for the vehicle because it was relatively powerful in comparison to its size and this allowed the Amphicar to reach top speed of 70 miles per hour on land and up to 7 knots when on the water. The fact that it was steered from the front in water and on land meant that it wasn't easy to maneuver as many would like, but by the time the production was ended in 1965, 3,878 of them had been built. One of the most famous owners was President Lyndon B. Johnson, who as well as enjoying a leisurely cruise was also known as being a prankster and apparently enjoyed frightening guests at his ranch in Texas by driving down a hill towards a lake and shouting that there's something wrong with his brakes. Of course, it was his guests who would get the last laugh, because after driving the Amphicar in the water, owners had to grease 13 parts, including the one that could only be reached by removing the rear seat, in order to ensure it kept a watertight seal next time. Number 2. Gibbs Humdinga Of all the amphibious vehicles that the New Zealand company Gibbs has produced, the Humdinga is the most multi-purpose. It was first announced in 2012 as a high-speed concept design, and the intent was that it would grant access to remote and hostile terrain. This would not only be appealing to leisure customers, but to military and rescue organizations that needed a smaller and lower-cost alternative to heavy-duty landing vehicles. The three-ton Humdinga is constantly in four-wheel drive and can reach speeds of up to 80 miles an hour when on land. At the push of a button after driving into shallow water, the wheels retract and the drivetrain disconnects from them and attaches itself to the jet propulsion system that can speed the vehicle through the water at up to 30 miles per hour. According to Alan Gibbs, who invented it, the Humdinga can reach a fast enough speed to provide hydrodynamic lift within 10 seconds, and all while carrying up to six passengers and a large volume of supplies. To develop the technology required to do this took a total of 15 years and a million man-hours of time. But if this is a sign of things to come, then it surely has been all completely worth it. Number 1. Hydra Spider If your idea of a true amphibious vehicle is that one that looks like a sports car and a sports boat, then you won't find anything better than the Hydra Spider. Designed by Cool Amphibious Manufacturers International, it's an open-top vehicle that first went into production in 2006 and is guaranteed to turn heads wherever you go. It's fitted with a 6-liter LS2 V8 engine that produces 400 horsepower through the front-wheel drive and gives it a top speed on land of 125 miles per hour. Impressively, however, this also translates to a potential top speed of 70 miles per hour on the water, which is plenty to pull water skiers across a lake, which is all the more surprising considering it weighs 1.65 tons. The transition between use on land and water is seamless and all the driver needs to do is drive into water deep enough to where it starts to float, and then push a button. This causes the wheels to retract and the powertrain connects with the jets to provide thrust in less than 30 seconds. The Spider certainly gives an alternative to buying a sports car, a speedboat, and needing to have a trailer to take it with you everywhere you go. So with that in mind, the price tag of $275,000 for the base model sounds quite reasonable. Of course, you could buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini for that amount. So if you have the money to spare, you'll have to decide whether driving through the water is really that important to you after the initial novelty value. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.